conversation with John Aitin and uh, start by telling us are there any serious plans for bringing Anushka or Brahman to India? Well, we would certainly uh, like to bring um, Bremer Watch Company okay. to, to India. Um, I think that uh, there would be a great opportunity to sell luxury watches here. Okay. And Bremer being a British brand, I think will uh, go down very well here. All right. okay. uh, on the Anushka side, we would love to uh, sell our jewellery in London. At the okay. moment, we have Indian customers in London. Right. Um, but we feel that until such time as the duties come okay. down a bit, it okay. will probably be quite difficult to do that. Okay. But do you see the watch market in India growing uh, at, a, at a steadier or better pace than a jewellery market? No, I see the watch um, business in India uh, really g growing strongly. Okay. Um, and I think that uh, it, it, it's a, a market where there is not a uh, domestic competition. Mm -hmm. Um, for instance, there is a, a ton of jewellery right. uh, that is manufactured here and uh, there is a lot of local competition, a lot of very beautiful jewellery here, as opposed to the watch uh, industry where I think the, there is a bigger opportunity. You know, that uh, naturally takes me to my next question. There's always talk about when a foreign brand comes to India, how much will it customize or change itself to suit cultural local tastes or do you evolve the market to your brand states. So uh, what would you say about that? If you bring Bremen down, what? I think in bringing Bremen to India, um, we uh, must remain true to the, uh, to the brand, uh, to the product, to the engineering that goes behind the watch. But uh, I see no reason why we shouldn't be responsive. Indeed, I think we should be responsive uh, to, to, to local taste. So, uh, in the case of watches, uh, that'll be a greater uh, uh, selection of bracelets. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be uh, more uh, gold on a watch than would okay. otherwise I I in the UK. Um, and of course, uh, there are a lot of um, air squadrons mm. in India, mm. um, you know, who would love the, the whole military feel sure. of, of the sure. watch. Okay. Uh, during your panel discussion, you mentioned, I think, at least twice about finding or scouting local designers. Mm. I'm going back to Anushka, sorry, and uh, taking them to London. Or is is there somebody on your radar from the Indian design fraternity? We at Anushka, we have a um, uh, a guest designer mm -hmm. program, um, up to four guest designers at any one time. Okay. And we collaborate with them. We bring interesting pieces to mm -hmm. London, okay. uh, where we have our own stores and also shop in shops in department mm -hmm. stores like Harrods, Selfridges, Liberty. And we would love to uh, find an Indian designer who wish to collaborate with us okay. um, and to um, showcase mm -hmm. their work. Mm -hmm. So. If you know of any, <laughs> tell I should me about probably them. tell you my personal favorites. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not uh, we have we're not there yet, but okay. we are true in our in our pursuit. Uh, also, somewhere I was reading that you've invested in this online jewelry platform called Botica. Yes. And um, I feel online is the way of the future. But yes. do you think the same rules apply to luxury brands as well? Uh, you know, to sell online as well as uh, maybe high street brands or. Well, I think it's interesting you mentioned Botica.com, right. um, which uh, you know, it, it is fantastic in that it is able to offer um, 330 jewellery designers right. through its platform. Um, and I see real potential for hmm. Botica.com in India because it's... Also, I like the fact that you can directly connect with the designer. Yeah, right. it's offering the opportunity to, hmm. to connect. It's offering the opportunity to build uh, for the designer to build a fan base hmm. and create an international um, uh, an international following hmm. um, in a way that it would be impossible to do from a retail point of view. Sure. So it's uh, and it's offering uh, for the designers a, effectively a risk-free route to market. Right. Um, and I think that uh, these um, marketplaces are going to become more and more. Uh, mm -hmm. Significant, mm -hmm. and I, you know, the luxury industry has been very slow at adopting the internet. Right. And I see this as, as something that's going to happen 
more and more. Mm -hmm. And indeed, you know, if you know what you're looking for, it's a great way of buying product. Okay, one last thing. How is it to work as a couple and how long have you and your wife been working together? Well, my wife Anushka um, uh, is a jewellery designer. Yes. Um, I look after the business mm -hmm. side of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we started working together in 1990, in fact, the year we got married. Okay. Um, I would thoroughly recommend it. Okay. Um, as long as I don't uh, criticize her design <laughs> and mm. she doesn't criticize my business decisions, it works brilliantly. But uh, it's a great fun. Really. Thank you so much for talking to Thank us. Thank you.